The Rockford Ice Dogs enter the final weekend of the regular season tonight, and boy, they got a great matchup against the Milwaukee Admirals with a chance to leapfrog them in the Central Division standings and better their positioning for the Calder Cup playoffs. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakrzewski with you, and I'm joined alongside assistant coach Jared Nightingale for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game. Coach Nightingale, Ice Dogs win. They move up to third place. If they lose, they move to fourth place, and then the playoffs pretty much decided if they take on Texas or Manitoba. It feels like in the energy that I'm feeling right now, almost a one-game playoff before the playoffs even begin yeah for sure I think uh said the last game really proud that we've set ourselves up to, to claw back and have a chance for this and I agree I mean uh you know these are the games that you really look forward to as a player uh games that mean something and right at the end of the season high stakes uh this is the best part uh, playing a really good opponent playing on the road uh and uh yeah it'll have a big uh big say in, in where we finish up in the pro season well, for the Ice Songs, they got off to a great start in terms of chipping away at a new magic number. Now four points coming into tonight to take over third place and get out of that first best of three playing round into the division semifinals. And that comes on the heels of a 6-1 victory against the Iowa Wild on Wednesday. You have to be happy with your effort, especially in a building that was tough to play. We caught a pregame there. We knew Iowa was going to try and come out and wrap up their season on a high note, but the Ice Songs had all the answers. Yeah, I thought Soderbloom played really well and... We kind of figure, you know, it's tough if you're in their shoes. They're, they just, uh, you know, lost their, their chance of postseason the night before. And then, uh, you know, we knew if we had a really strong start, we, that would bode well for us. We kind of put them away. And I uh, completed it full 60 minutes. And it was another good sign that really all four lines were playing well and playing hard. And we'll need that tonight for sure. Well, for the Ice Songs, if you're following along this team all season long, when you see a 6-1 contest, you think of guys like Lucas Reichel, Dylan McLaughlin, guys really shining bright. But, Coach, I have been impressed with the depth of this hockey team. Yeah. Dimitri Ospov, Curtis Gabriel, and Cameron Morrison, two guys that are more known for their physical play, grinding out, and work ethic. They all find the score sheet in terms of goals in that performance, too. It seems like the Ice Hogs, you mentioned all four lines playing well. All four lines are playing really well. Right. And, and you know what? They're not even really looked upon to, to finish, to score, but they've been doing that. Uh, it's not an easy position, I think. It's a really good sign at the character and, uh, you know, projecting our team is when the depth guys that, you know, Ozipov's been out for a while and he comes in and that's not easy to come in and contribute uh, offensively, but effort-wise, he's been great. Poor has been great. Like you said, Morrison, he kind of picked up right where he left off before his injury. And, uh, and Gabriel, again, like he's, these guys are all kind of finding roles and, and it's not easy when you're a depth guy. But again, I think it's been really reflective of our team's success is, you know, all 20 guys in the lineup are contributing. Well, for the Ice Sox, too, it probably has to take off a lot of pressure for guys like a Reichel, a Connolly, a McLaughlin, some of those top-line guys that they don't have to feel the pressures of being the guy. I have to make a play in order to get a result. You can survive that one ship, go off, because you know there's guys behind you that can pick things up. Yeah, no doubt. You look at the best teams in the NHL, and they, you know, they can roll. Look at Tampa. they got an outstanding third and fourth line uh, to go deep and to play really good opponents, especially on the road. You know, you can't really match lines. you got to trust all four lines, and... I think Andrews has done a really good job of rolling those guys, and they kind of everybody knows their role. They know what's expected of them, uh, and that you know that feels good. Especially like I said, we got a big road game tonight, and we'll need that. Catching up with assistant coach Jared Nightingale for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game ahead of tonight's matchup against the Milwaukee Admirals. And let's go ahead and talk about Milwaukee, a team you've seen quite a bit. You actually lead this head-to-head -head series in overall points. You've done very well in Milwaukee this year as well. You know how tough it is to play in, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As much as the Ice Hogs trying to catch up to them, Admirals have just as much to play for because they don't want to slip down to fourth place and have their playoffs start a little bit sooner against the Texas Stars. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, we always expect the best from our opponent. And, and Milwaukee is a team we've seen a lot of. They have some really dangerous players that can make you pay. Uh, defensemen, they have a veteran group, uh, you know, and good goaltending. But, you know, we expect a – sorry, Hardman. He's always joking around, right? Kind of makes me worry come game time. <laughs> it, it always run away. Anyways, yeah, we, uh, you know, expect a really good opponent. And they know what's at stake tonight, and we know what it's, it's at stake. And – that's kind of what makes it fun. And like you said, it's going to be a, a fun shift by shift. These are the best games to be as a player. Uh, we're really excited to uh, have an opportunity. Breaking down one of the keys in tonight's matchup, too, is to stay disciplined. We've talked a lot about that against Iowa, Chicago, Manitoba, a lot of previous matchups. But the Ice Hogs, it feels like tonight, really going to be a major key just because of what Milwaukee's power play has been able to do here recently, one of the top power play units in the American Hockey League. How much do you want to keep this game five on five? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's never... Either way, you know, kind of disrupts the flow when both teams are going to four and five and six power plays. Uh, 
with that, you know, obviously our last little, you know, five game segment, our penalty kills, you know, puck didn't go our way, uh, but it's a good opportunity. Like you said, against a good power play, we're on the road, reset. Uh, special teams is huge, but yeah, you, you want to stick to five on five. I think we're best when we're playing five on five uh, hockey, um, but you have to respect uh, Milwaukee. If you go too many times, they'll make you pay. So it'll be a big, uh, big key tonight. Staying disciplined, obviously getting off to a great start is going to be another key for your race song. But in your mind, coach, what's going to have to happen for the Hogs to be successful, specifically against the Admirals tonight? Well, I think I think we're going to continue to need our depth. Uh, you know, all four lines are going to have to roll. And, uh, you know, and I said this last week, you not be afraid to play, especially on the road, 50-50 shifts. Um, sometimes surviving is good. And, you know, with that, we need a really good start. Milwaukee usually comes out of the gates hard. Manage that and then, uh, you know, go from there. Coach, I appreciate it. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Assistant Coach Jerry Nightingale joining us for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game as the Ice Sox prepare to take on the Milwaukee Admirals tonight out at UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena with the chance to move up the Central Division standings and get themselves right into the division semifinals. So let's get you back to the action. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Sox Hockey on the Hogs Broadcast Network presented by BMO Harris Bank.